Uh, FA Trophy attention turns to on Saturday. How are the lads feeling ahead of that? Boys are good. Um, thought we had a good game last week, but obviously with the circumstances and on the back of um, what Concord's form was, but I thought we played well as well, even down to 10 men. Um, a little bit of a get together this week, let the herd down. And uh, as I said, we're looking forward to the game Saturday. You mentioned there was a bit of a team building exercise earlier in the week. I think it was Tuesday, wasn't it? How important is, are those sort of events throughout the season just to just to bring bring the lads together and just to get you know what? It's good they're team spirit here anyway. Unbelievable, but... but they're massive because I was listening to even the talk sport this morning with Alan Brazil and uh, Gabby on it. And they were saying that uh, I think it was Ronaldo's comments about how young players and ideas are just you know everything's done for them and where the old school where the boys used to meet up on a Tuesdays and. Even when I was at Leeds, when they got the Champions League final, the Tuesday was a player's day. Not all the time. But uh, as I said, even thought, you know, we'll get something together, a bit of food for the boys, let the herd down. And uh, nothing mad, but uh, everything in the club. And, um, you know, they went and enjoyed themselves. And everything was, was controlled. And uh, back on the training point, I work hard. Obviously, it's a, it's a straight knockout game on Saturday against a team we know all about. We've not long since we gave them a, a bloody good game at home and probably should have got a win in that afternoon. So we haven't, again, you say it every week, don't have anything to fear. But in this one in particular, despite their form, it's a good cup tie for us. It's it? a great cup tie. Um, but, you know, Paul and Beardy's got a fantastic team. They're two great people. Um, good guys as well in the league. One's I really, really like. They're good players. Very respectful. Um and you know what? They're, they're there on merit where they are. They've got good players and, and they fully deserve it. They're a good club, good people. And it's going to be a tough, tough game for us. Um, but one we've got to just go and enjoy, you know, as I said, with a great game for the neutral uh, at home. And uh, as I say, if we get a game like that again, you know, you want to win. But if you play like that there, you can take getting beat. But we want to get into the next round. And I'm sure they do. But we want a good game and uh, one we've got to be confident with. Is it a sort of game that you can afford to approach things a bit differently with it being a straight knockout winner on the day, it goes straight to penalties after extra time, all that sort of stuff? Uh, uh, Do you approach it differently to a league I game? I think, you know, so. you know, so people look at it where they are, where we are. But, you know, you've got to be competitive, but it's a, it's on the day and all form goes out the window. But, um, no, look, we've got to go and enjoy it too with this Saturday. It's not obviously the bread and butter is the league, but you want to get into the next round in these cup games. It's a good cup. It's, it's more or less the non-league FA Cup. So it's one that we'll be treating with the utmost respect. And, uh, you know, go obviously on the injury front with the players. We've got a couple, little Cameron. Um, he hasn't trained uh, yet, obviously, after his fantastic performance on Saturday. So we've just got to guide him. There's a few niggles. And um, we've just got to, got to wrap him in cotton wool for Saturday. Perfect. Thanks, Warren.